A second arrest has been made in connection with a particularly shocking child abuse case involving one young girl being locked in the closet, police say, for weeks. The case has disturbed neighbors. If this is what we've seen and what we know, what don't we know? And that is, makes me sick to my stomach. 38-year-old Kenneth Trout was booked into the Duval County Jail yesterday on child neglect and aggravated child abuse charges, according to records. The girl's mother, Alexandra Eby, has been in jail on child neglect charges since December 14th. Sources say Trout and Eby are in a relationship. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is joining us live. She spoke with a woman who called the Department of Children and Families after noticing children who she feared were being mistreated. Corley. Tom, that woman I spoke with says she called DCF several times with concerns about how the children were being treated inside that home. She says it's a relief knowing that both Trout and EB are both inside this jail. A house filled with horror is how neighbors like Heather describe this West Side home. She asked to not show her face. Had you seen any suspicious activity at that home before? It was just so filthy and I always felt bad for the kids because of the filth. Sources say Alexandra Eby and Kenneth Trout are in a relationship. They are now in jail after investigators say they locked Eby's five-year-old daughter in a closet for 25 days. The girl told police she was tied down with handcuffs, a belt, and rope while locked in the closet. A neighbor who wants to remain anonymous says three other children live at the home, but seeing the five-year-old girl was rare. What was the biggest red flag to you? Whenever I gave the little girl toys and next thing I know she got in trouble and I did not see her for a couple weeks and I reported it. When DCF arrived, they described the girl to appear weak and starved with open wounds and skin falling off her body. Investigators also spoke with the girl's two older brothers who also had signs of abuse and neglect. They told detectives their sister was always getting into trouble and would get locked in her room or closet. One boy says he fed his sister a couple days before DCF arrived, but wasn't sure who fed her before that. I asked the little boy one day where he went to school. And he just told me he didn't go to a school. And I, I said, oh, so you do virtual school? And he, of course, said, no, I don't do that either. And I'm like, OK. He said, I do homeschooling. There's no parents there every day. There's no way that those parents are homeschooling their children. They were more like the parents. And they even expressed to me that they cooked chicken nuggets and uh, corn dogs for their meal every night, and that's whenever they were allowed to. With Trout and EB in jail, neighbors feel the children are now safe from horror. Sources close to the five year old girl's family tells me that she is with a family member and she is currently still in the hospital. We did some do some digging and we found that Kenneth Trout has been in jail in the past for multiple charges, including aggravated battery and drugs. I did get in contact with his family today and they did not wish to comment. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station.